the Nature Conservancy, we do oyster restoration to replace ecosystem services that are lost. And we typically will raise oysters and deploy them in the estuary to give the, the estuary kind of a jump start um, to become healthy again. Um, and this year, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, we actually are buying surplus oysters, our large oysters, sometimes called uglies, that don't go to market. So in March of last year, uh, sales basically went to zero. 90% of the oysters we sell go to restaurants. And so once the restaurants closed, the, uh, the, the, our distributors just said, we can't take any, we have no place to send them. And um, so we really had to change gears and start trying to sell locally, which is not normally what we do. So our sales basically went down to about 10% of what they had been for, for at least a month. And then um, as we changed gears, we were able to sell more. So here in New Hampshire, uh, we have a short season and it takes about three years for an oyster to get to market size. And market size is a three inch oyster. So this is a typical market sized oyster. This is a nice round oyster, uh, nice deep cup. The problem is that as these oysters grow, if they get too big, they outgrow that market, the, the half shell market, which is, is which on our market here. And once they get, you know, four or five inches, and this one's a little misshapen, what we would call an ugly, um, we won't really have a big market for them. So we had to kind of diversify where we sell our oysters. And um, that can be a little bit tricky. Some people are doing an online market and um, we haven't really done that. We've, we've been able to kind of juggle different wholesalers and, and try to get the best price for our oysters. This is how a lot of the farms have their product. It really has been um, kind of a lifesaver to be able to keep some revenue coming in and to move it quite quickly. Um, and uh, I just think it's a great thing that they're doing um, and it's great to be a part of it. I have 18,000 oysters for you. So buying uh, surplus oysters and putting them on the reefs, they're reproducing, they're creating that habitat, they're clearing up the water. And I think it is a win for conservation. Um, it's the major silver lining that has come out of the global pandemic for oysters. When you have an oyster and uh, 